Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayal. I bring you greetings of the amazing love of the Lord Jesus Christ. How wonderful it is for us to experience this truth that we are loved by the Lord God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. We are loved by Jesus Christ, his one and only son. We are loved by the Holy Spirit. Oh, how wonderful it is for us to experience this amazing and eternal love. We are called to be Christians. We have been meditating about how to be Christians. What does it mean to be Christians? Today, I invite you to meditate on Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. Carry one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Christ, Jesus, carried the cross for all of us the burden of the sins of the whole world. He carried literally that heavy cross and walked towards Calvary. On the way there he was insulted, spat upon, beaten, fell three times. He was crucified. Sisters and brothers, Apostle Paul is telling us, carry each other's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ the law of Christ that Christ demonstrated is carrying the burdens of the world we are called to carry one another's burden now how do we do that when someone is suffering hurting let us go and visit that person, be with that person. If we can be of any help, do that. Whatever we can do, do that for that person. Say comforting words, encouraging words. We can easily identify people who are physically ill, but it is hard for us to identify people who are depressed people who go through failure complex, rejection. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to give us the wisdom to distinguish those people and even without them knowing, give them comfort and strength. In our conversation, ask people, what are your struggles? What are your joys? When they share their joys and struggles, we know to carry their struggles in our prayer for them. Some of the struggles we already know when we hear on the news, earthquake in Japan, earthquake in, Elsa, uh, in uh, Ecuador, and severe weather, car accidents, all sorts of things we hear so we can lift them up in our prayer asking God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ to reach out and touch them. Sisters and brothers, the more we carry people in our prayer, prayer of praise for all the good things that we see and hear people doing, and prayer of petition for the people who are struggling. That's how we carry the burden of each other, one another. That's how you we fulfill the law of Christ. That's how we follow Christ. Jesus said, take up your own cross and follow me. <coughs> and we need to do that. And we are never alone. That's the most beautiful thing. We are never alone. Jesus Christ is within us. He will help us to carry our own cross and the cross of the people around us. What a comforting thought. What a reality. Jesus not only died on the cross, resurrected, opened up heaven, and has chosen to come and live within us in, by the presence of Jesus, by the help of, help of the Holy Spirit, 
for the glory of our eternal Father, we can indeed carry one another's burden and thus fulfill the law of Christ. Sisters and brothers, let's look for opportunities to carry one another's burden. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for creating us in your image. Thank you, Father, for giving us Jesus Christ, your one and only Son, who, who carried the cross of pain, struggles of the entire humanity and died on the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for carrying the burden of the entire world. O Holy Spirit, continue to strengthen us, carry our own cross as well as the burdens of one another in prayer, in fellowship, in words of encouragement, in deeds of support. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.